The reason why I came over here was a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanted a company where I could, could grow. This is one of the companies, and I've done, been in driving for 23 years. This is one of the companies that I can come into flatbed and I can go all the way up to the heavy haul, which is what I, what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to expand or grow. The last company I was with, I was unable to do that. Then when I got a hold of you and talked to you, everything that you told me from the start was spot on. There's been nothing between you, um, my fleet managers, safety department, log department, everything that everybody's told me has been spot on. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm here is because A, I wanted to be able to grow with a company, you know, get into a company and grow, which I can. And B, the honesty of the recruiters is one of the ones that get, one of the things that brings me on. And as you know, in our conversations that we've had, I was meticulous and you, I asked you 30 questions and I had answers and times and dates to everything. And you're like, why'd you do this? Well, there's a reason why I do that. I had 20 years in, you know, 20 years in service, I have a tendency to do those kind of things. So that's why that was. That's awesome. That's why I came over. I, I did tell you this too. You made me a better recruiter because of it, right? You made me take more me meticulous notes for our conversations to the date, to the time, even that when we spoke about that. So, um, Olaf is saying hello to us today. <laughs> Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. You know, you talk about the fleet manager, right? Yes. Tell me about that relationship with Megan. Well, so far, um, from the day one, everything's been, been on the up and up. Um, when I told her when I came, first came on, uh, had the interview with her, it was a phone interview. I says, hey, I want to be able to move. Um, I've been doing this for so long. I, I hate sitting, and she says, not a problem. And so far to this date, she has, I have not sat, other than the 34s because I can't deliver on the weekends. But um, everything she's told me, I ask her questions, she, she doesn't know the answer, I don't know, she gets back to me with the answer. So, and that's been with, with Megan, that's been with Nicole, that's been with you, that's been with the safety department. When I ask a question, if they don't know it, they're not like, well, yeah, let me come up. No, they, they don't come up with bullshit answers. They tell me, I don't know and then they'll come up with an answer, they'll research it, and then get back with, me with the answers. And that's one of the things I like. Is there anything in particular since you've been here, it's just been a short time, that you won't forget? Something that we did, you did, you've experienced? Yes. Um, the honesty from when I ask a question with somebody, the honesty that they've given to me, and been straight up, up, up forth, you know, straightforward with everything, that's one of the biggest things that I share with everybody that I bring on as a strict being honest and straightforward with everything everything that happens. So far, nobody in the company yet has said, hey, this is, and give me a bullshit answer. Everybody's told me up front, this is the answer. If they don't know the answer, they say, hey, I don't know. And then they'll come back with it. So it has, it has to be the honesty so far. And the safety culture here. Um, one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that here versus a lot of the other companies, the other three companies I've worked for, when they say safety, they mean safety, they don't mean, let me think about it. They mean safety from the word go. So I'm impressed with that too. Awesome, that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's wonderful to hear from a new driver, but it's also wonderful to hear as a recruiter, right, that's, that's representing ATS, that's how you feel, that's awesome. Tell me about some of the freight that you've pulled so far since you've been here. Well, so far, from, uh, I've hauled John Deere equipment, I've hauled um, man lifts, I've hauled, um, parts for ranges, steel plates for ranges, um, insulation for roofing, so if I'm building materials, um, concrete materials, equipment, so it's been a wide variety. That's nothing, I, I do like the variety so far with the equipment. Awesome. The, you know, you brought up safety. What is, what are your top best practices you do to ensure safety of every load? Number one, <clears throat> when I went through went through his, uh, orientation, and I told Sam the same thing when I went through orientation, I cannot do DOT minimum. I can't do it. Never have been able to do it. I've always exceeded, exceeded the expectations of DOT minimums because one of the things in all the time, all my years driving, I've never lost a load, never shifted a load, and don't want to start. So that's one of the reasons why when, I, when I'm doing my safety or doing my loads, I do not do DOT minimums. Number two, um, getting in on and off the equipment, I always remember the catchphrase, um, ass out, because if you remember that catchphrase, you'll never ever come off a truck, trailer, wrong. 
And that's one of the things that I always practice. Total overall experience so far at ATS has been? It's been great. It's been great. I haven't, like I said, I haven't, I would not tell people to come to a company that I did not believe in. In a short amount of time that I've been here, I believe in this company 100%. I've had no reasons whatsoever to say, eh, this isn't a company for me. No. So everything's been on the, on the up and up, and I'm going to stay with the company as long as they'll let me. Um, because you guys, everything's been on the up and up. There's, there's been no gray areas. And like I said, if, if somebody doesn't know something, I don't know it. They're not afraid to say I don't know and come back with it and get, get the answer back to me shortly. That That's an answer that I love to hear, right? Again, as a recruiter, if that recruited you in here, um, we try to do things the right way, right? It's all about the driver experience and you've seen that. So I want to thank you for coming up to St. Cloud today and let me meet Olaf and uh, let me meet you um, and sitting in your brand new ride, which is a really nice ride. Um, just thank you for that. And um, I wish you good luck and stay safe, sir. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.